All right, before we start this video, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're seeing the subscribers go up, but we need more. We wanna hit 100,000, and I don't know, I don't know how close we can get this week with all the videos that we're putting out, vlogging from here in Florida, all the way to Vegas, through the Olympia. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, last leg day. Get some cardio in. Whew. Can't say I'm not feeling it, I'll be honest with you. Time to focus. So now is whenever like I normally would want to just absolutely crush these top sets. But um, I got one more set here on the leg extension. I really wish I wanted to do the full stack and just go as hard and crazy as I possibly can. But I really have to remember that's not what today is about. Today, we have a specific workout that's gonna elicit a result for me to be my best in six days. So, I have to put my ego at the door and be smart and not just have this worker mentality of going balls to the wall every, every set today. It's got to be, I got to be smarter than that. And that's what I'm, I'm trying to learn even from last year to this year is to just work smarter, not harder, especially at the end. Because the hard work's always going to be there. I just have to be able to work smarter. Good reps. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Another one. Again. Another one. Come on. Okay, good. Let's go. Hold on, on, Derek. One more. Mr. Rowe, come on. Get two exercises down. Gotta love it, man. Still got the smile. Dig deep. You gotta love it. You gotta want it. Every day. Every day is a great day to get better. Especially when you're six days out. Another set. Ooh. 
go, Chan. Come on. Come on. How do you feel being six days out? Um, excited now. Like, uh, it's the last leg day. So it's like exciting because I like to go like, oh, today's the last leg day. Not to get it done, but like, it's the last chance, the last opportunity to train legs for the show. So it's like exciting. I look forward to it, but I'm also happy when it's done, I guess. Because then I'm like, that's it. No more leg days. Then it's just like some upper body depletion days, posing and getting prepared for the show. Um, so, and then after this workout, we're going to go home, shower, head to the airport. So I'm almost done with this workout. And I like, I would want to say it's bittersweet, but it's not. It's just sweet. It's not bitter at all. I am ready to be in Vegas, baby. Three blood starving sets there. I'll just do one more straight set. What time is it? 4.20. So we've been here for basically an hour, just 55 minutes training. Did leg extensions, lying leg curls, stiff leg deadlifts, belt squat, leg press. This is my last set. We're gonna do seated leg curls, add and abductors. No we're done. So probably about an hour and a half. Perfect. Okay, sure. Let's go. Last set. Okay. Got five exercises down. Three more to go. And then we'll finish. I'm gonna give myself a second to yeah, sit here and rest my legs. My legs are pretty. Give it your give us a little breather. I'm trying to remember from last year because remember last year's leg day, I absolutely murdered my legs. Like I wouldn't quit training. Like just train heavy and hard. Yeah. I'm really trying to back it off today because I want to crush it. But and I feel like I am. I feel like I'm crushing this workout. But truthfully, I could go just a little heavier. I could push just a little bit harder. But I think that's perfect. Like you know. Most of my sets, I've done full, good, hard working sets, but if I really want to push it, I could probably push a couple more reps, push just a little bit more weight, but that's what we want right here. Just right, right where it's at. Nice squeezes, getting up some pump and uh, depleting the muscle. We're not trying to tear it up, even though I want to. <laughs> it's hard on you to hold yourself back. Yeah, that's what me and Hani talked about. It's like, there's no problem with me working hard. It's me trying to like rein it back in a little bit when I need to. That's, uh, that's been something he and I has talked about. I think there's two types of people. People that just go really, really hard and need to be like kind of backed off a little bit, rein back in. And then there's some people, which I think is the majority of people need to push harder. And I think everybody, like even myself, there's days where I, I do need to push harder, so I'm not gonna sit here and be like, every day I'm killing it and I can't push any harder, which, I don't know, maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. But <laughs> He's laughing because he knows I push every day, but I think everybody can be pushed a little harder, but 99% of the time, it's me needing to rein it back in more than I'm needing to push harder.
But you know what? It's those kind of things right there as you grow in maturity and experience, especially like through the sport of bodybuilding, you learn, right? You like you learn these things about yourself um, and you correct it. Like genetics is a God given talent, right? It's something like that you are either given or you're not. Skills are developed. And even though hard work, I think can be like a characteristic of, of a learned skill, I think it can also be like counterintuitive to the result sometimes. So that's why I said sometimes reining it back in is important and developing that kind of a skill and learning how to leave your ego at the door and, you know, not always just go balls to the wall and be a bit more methodical. So those are like the type of things I'm trying to learn through my experience in bodybuilding over the years. And I think it's eliciting a better result. Again, I work hard every single time I come to the gym, but I'm trying to maximize my opportunity, my, my potential every day, right? So whether I need to be pushed harder, whether I need to back it off or, or switch something up in whatever regard, honing in on those things and developing better habits and skills and uh, more knowledge on what you need each, each day is gonna make you a better bodybuilder. And it was the same for me when I was in wrestling. I, I just went really, really hard. And I don't think, I think it kind of took away from developing my technical skills when I would drill on the mat, like techniques, like shots or, or whatever, like, you know, shooting a shot or like trying to get out of a position. I was just trying to really just work hard rather than work smart and be more technical. So same, and now apply that same thing to anything, whether it's another sport or a business or bodybuilding, you know, exercise selection, rep ranges, tempo, you know, whatever, uh, training splits, nutrition, cardio. Sometimes yeah, I like to go too hard on cardio too. So it's like, you know, just learning those kind of things and, and learning more about yourself. What kind of mentality you have? Are you someone that needs to be encouraged and motivated with a sense of urgency? Or do you already have a sense of urgency and that extra like um, extra like push of like, okay, we got to get it now. We're behind, you know, sometimes that throws people off. Sometimes like it kind of just like, wait, what? I don't need another, I, need, I don't need more sense of urgency. I need to be like more calm and chill and like just go with the flow, you know? Whereas some people, if they just go with the flow, they slack and they don't have a sense of urgency ever. So just, you're able to learn so much about yourself through bodybuilding. I want to give myself just a little bit of a, a rest right there because for the first hour we were moving, you know, I didn't stop. We did five exercises in an hour and it was four to five sets per exercise. And you know, we were moving some weight and, you know, but after that there, leg press, I want to give myself an extra five minutes or so to like not calm down totally and like, you know, let the muscles cool down, but just like, rest and recover a little bit because I need it for these last few exercises. So now that we've rested for about five minutes, I'm gonna go finish up hamstrings with the seated leg curl, add an abductors, and then we're done. I'll probably do three sets of each. By the way, no more pre-workout, no more aminos, no more artificial drinks, things like that, no artificial sweeteners. Except the Eva Greens, I can still have those, which I don't really know if that has artificial sweeteners in it, but this is just straight coffee. Black coffee. Black coffee? And arginine powder. Hmm. So that way I still get the pump, still get the energy. It's not nearly as good as the iced mocha coffee mm -hmm. from the Asian Extreme. That was delicious. I was doing a half a scoop there. Last few workouts it was great. And then along with the 3D and the AQ, but Got to cut it out week of the show. So just straight black coffee, if I get any thing at all like that. So.
<laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna put these on before I forget them. <laughs> just leave about your shoes. I'll just walk out. <laughs> Gotta hang on because I don't know if I'll get back up if I fall. <laughs> my legs are pretty trashed, not gonna lie. I won't be able to pick you up. Maybe Jacob would. He could pick you up. I tear my hamstrings doing it. Yeah, right at like an hour and a half workout. Yep. That's why I figured when we were talking about having two hours to train, mm -hmm. I figured if like I was really slacking and like just couldn't somehow seem to get it together, which that never really happens. I like, I like just more or less to uh, have like 30 extra minutes. Yeah. But I knew today was going to be like an hour and a half, hour and 45 max. Mm -hmm. It probably would have been an hour and 45 I would have done straight sets on the leg press. But since I did like the FST7 blood starving kind of stuff, yeah, it went a little faster. So... Right at an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It doesn't really need to be more than that anyway. <sighs> okay. I just like knowing that I have nothing more to give. Like I, at the end of it all, like not just at the end of the day as like, end of the workout, end of the day, end of the week, end of the prep, I know there's not any more I could have possibly done. Like, I was just sitting here thinking, like, man, you know, every year, I kind of think to myself, oh, can I push myself like I did last year? And then I feel like I one-up myself every single year. And I think to myself, oh, what about next prep? Is the next prep's last leg day going to be as good as this one? And then the one after that, and the one after that, can I can I continue to handle it? But I just, that's why I just thought to myself, I just can't help it. I cannot help but give my absolute 100% at very, very best every time. Is that just like, I just know I can go have confidence, great satisfaction, knowing that there is just nothing more I could possibly do. I did everything I could possibly do. And the only thing I could change is maybe like my approach, my skills that I develop, my just more experience. But otherwise, my effort is 100%. I don't even know who I'm speaking to. I'm just saying it to myself, to be honest. I'm saying it to you guys, but I'm also just kind of saying it to myself. Okay, one more exercise. Flip this one. If I'm honest, I'm thinking about Jelson and the way she does these, how she leans forward and mm -hmm. her glutes just go. <laughs> Thanks for pushing me, babe, even though you're not here, here at home, getting us ready for the <laughs> airport. <laughs> at least I'm thinking about my wife's glutes, right? <laughs> That's why I married her, you know? That's right. Am among many other Probably things. Probably thinking about your glutes, too. If I can get my glutes to look like her glutes. <laughs> I don't think she's going to get her glutes to look like my glutes, though. No. We have... Let's just say a different look. <laughs> One more set. Back of this, just 
John 19.30. It is finished. Last leg day is done. Mm -hmm. Let's go get cleaned up and go to the airport. See you guys in Vegas. Lots of bags. Yeah, you think you have enough? They all say Jelson on them. See, it's Are all, all of those your bags? <laughs> Jelson, Jelson, Jelson. Jelson. Everything's Florida. See me miss that shot? That's why I never played basketball. Actually, that's why I quit playing basketball. Boom, she finally got it. I got my pre-check number. Thank goodness. I've been asking for like five years to get pre-check. She finally got it. What time? It's already a good day. <laughs> they got the bag tags. This one says Jelson, so this is her bag, but all the bags say Jelson's. <laughs> They're all hers. They're all This mine. one says Derek Lunsford, but Mom? the bag says Jelson. What if they think it's stolen? Yeah. I just want my bag back, that's it. <laughs> with the camera. Yeah. Don't forget, Trevor's birthday is in 10 days. <laughs> We're gonna be in Vegas. What gate are we on again? Uh, good question. I was pretty sure it was C, because I flew Southwest the other day to Pittsburgh. That was my, I was supposed to fly Delta, I think, and it got canceled. And so I had to like book really quick a Southwest flight. Oh yeah, I saw that it got canceled. It was crazy, I almost didn't make it, but we did. I literally went up there for a day. Like I came, I went up there the same day. I came back. That's I, crazy. Yeah, I came back the same day. Fast trip. We are approaching Gator Side C. It's all good. Your food getting checked? Every time. It's usually like just mainly like the salts and stuff like that. It makes sense. Make it's powder. like a powder, yeah. <laughs> Trying to catch up on social media here. I feel like um, like the last week or two, I haven't slowed down. We post a lot, but like I'm getting a ton of messages to where I have to really just put my phone away. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important, like whether you're in prep or non-prep, that you are able to to put your phone away, to shut it down for a while. So I make sure to like when I notice myself I'm on it for too long, I just completely I'll just, like I'll just like literally go the rest of the day without it. Mm -hmm. um, that's I awesome. try to hop on periodically just to like keep things going, but and try to keep up because if I wait too long, then it's just bombarded. Got a little time now, so catch up on all the messages and tag stuff and whatnot. It's a place to do it. So we got here. I'm gonna eat my next meal and uh, try to take a nap. Sound good? She's not gonna pay attention. No. She's thinking about getting on the plane. I'm thinking about eating my next meal and sleeping. And sleeping. <laughs> I'm like, I travel all the time. Well, she does travel too, but I travel so much. It's just like, we're already here. We're already ready to go. We're on, basically. It's the hardest part was just walking through the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the hardest part was packing to get here. Yeah. Thank God I have an amazing wife. Oh, we never got a night below. No. Thank you. Like the spray tans. Oh, like light leather seats. Yeah. yeah, so I would probably get like black sheets. Or yeah. like a cover. Okay. Or yeah, you can just get like a seat cover or something. No. Yeah, towels. Yeah. She's an Uber driver and 
hasn't experienced the Mr. Olympia mm-hmm. in bodybuilding yet. A lot of bodybuilders. He said, uh, be prepared for spray tans. Are you excited for the tan? I am. The smell. I love the smell. I love how it looks on the skin. And, and also, it's like, oh, we're ready. It's time. That first coat. Oh, yeah. This is how Trevor stays shredded, guys. All he eats is beef jerky. <laughs> When they ask you if you want a snack, you still want it. I mean, well, technically I'm not lying. I want a snack, but I just can't eat this thing. Don't deny the snacks. I'll give you mine. This girl gets like double the snacks every time. <laughs> I think she just likes it because it's free. It is. Everything's better. Nothing tastes free. better than free. <laughs> what airline has the best snacks? Southwest. Southwest. She also likes Southwest because you get two free check bags. Free, free, free. Free is better. Free is for me. Remember when I wanted one of those for Disney? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wheelchair? Yeah. <laughs> Why it's time to return them back underneath the seat in front of you or the overhead bin. Once again, make sure they go all the way underneath that seat and something can't fall out. Our guys are going to be. It's been a while since I've been in Vegas. I think the last time I was here was. Flex Lewis's uh, grand opening for the Dragon's Lair. Shuttle bus is our last one for eight. Thank you for another one. I'm sweating. Look at all the look at all these bags. All these bags. What if I would have just sat down and like hit this button on accident and it was like the jackpot? Ding 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 ding. Is it just me or is this like, look like the top of the Grinch's head? Let me focus on that. I could see that, yeah. And especially with the green glow from the machine. Yeah. It's the Grinch's head. Finally made it. We're here. Trying to relax.
relax now. Actually, not trying. It's easy to relax. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's like three hours difference from Florida to Vegas. So normally I'm going to bed right now. I felt like a long oh, yeah. flight. It and, is... I, and I came back from Tampa. It was the same. I was like sleepy like at eight. Yeah. It's what? Like it's like eight o'clock here now or something like that. Eight thirty. Mm-hmm. I'm like ready for, ready for sleep. Honey's <laughs> going to come up here here in a minute and probably take a look at me. Um, I cannot, can you tell like the dry heat already? Or, like the dry weather, I mean? Yeah, I can tell. I can, My I, lips. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it already. They already. Like when we flew in, I was like, Jell, do you feel that? She's like, oh, yeah, the dry weather. My bottom lips are already like splitting. I guess it's not bad for drying out this week, right? Hey, true. <laughs> you you get, just need I, to drink more. Everybody's like, oh, it throws off your water. I'm like, isn't it going to make me drier? Like I'm going <laughs> to want to drink more water and get drier anyway. Get out that humidity. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to grab some water. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. That's why it's good you came earlier, you know? Yeah. You get used to the weather. Now. Yeah, these YouTube videos, man, people are really, there's a lot of views. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one we uploaded, we uploaded that one this morning, 37. It's a good amount. So, we got plenty more coming, that's cool. You gotta crank it out. Yeah. yeah. You got probably enough from today's workout and... Travel. Traveling, put this one out today, or put this video out. We'll probably film the next couple of days, maybe combine them. We have a lot of content coming for you, too. Oh, yeah. So we don't wrap up today's video here and pick up in the morning? I think so. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, <laughs> share the video, send it to your cousin, send it to your mom. Sign up for UC Fit Coaching. Follow John Trevor Media. Everybody's making their own plugs here. <laughs> we just all make. He, he made a plug for me. I made a plug for the both of hey, us. Hey, can anybody buy? No. Okay, if you're local, pick up the new merch. Ooh, the Olympia ooh, merch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we show the shirt? No, th- I was gonna say, I think we should wait to show the new Olympia shirt for when the hoodies come because they go together, the hoodie and the, the t-shirt. Shirt. So when the when the hoodies get shipped here. We will show them both. All right, let's do that. Because honestly, I don't want to put them out online anyway and sell them to the rest of the world because you want to make it they're, ex- they're exclusive to, to the Olympia first. Yeah. The people that are here at the Olympia, I think, get first dibs. And then after that, we will sell them online. If there's any left, you know? Yeah. It's only made a certain amount. So. Let's sell them out. I think it's sick. I'm really excited about it. I want to see it. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to make a plug, or are we good? Jelson, fit with gel. You need a plug, gel? Gel Bell on TikTok and Instagram. She doesn't have the energy. Everybody's tired. <laughs> Just aim the camera at Connor. Again, don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like the video, comment below. That's literally the first thing I said in this video this morning, didn't I? I said, wait, first. Yeah, you did. Subscribe, ju- subscribe, you subscribe. Did. Dude, I forgot. Hey, I'll tell you what. The subscribers going up, and it, it's super awesome. Like, we were just trying to hit 50,000, and now we're at, like, 58,000. I think, honestly, like, I'm not saying we're going to hit 100,000 by the end of the week. And I'm like, that's pretty ambitious. But I'm excited to see, like, in these next few videos, how, how many more subscribers we can get. Mm-hmm. Like, that is going to be so cool to watch. Along yeah. with peaking for the Olympia this weekend. No, exactly. So we hit our goal fifty, and now let's hit that hundred. Let's go to a hundred, baby. And then one fifty, and then two hundred. We can't do it. We can, we're only one subscriber. We need you guys. I don't even know if I can subscribe to my own channel. I don't think you can. So I'm zero. You're one. <laughs> so we can't do it without the viewers. Subscribe. See you in the next video.